What is going on, everyone? Tier 4 is coming soon, and there's a ton of information out there. But if you are like me, maybe you're still confused, so no worries. I got you all with step-by-step -step instructions. Here are the first 10 things I'm going to be prioritizing for Wednesday's reset. By the gorgeous No Edit Andy. Okay, number one, gotta do North Curzon questline ASAP. I'm going to shift G the story on my main, but I'll probably watch it once, like the cutscenes and all that stuff, on one of my alts. This is extremely important because this is the start of tier four. You have to do this to unlock everything. So make sure you do this quest line. Number two is do Kenuart's Fortress. I don't know if that's going to be the actual name in our version. So just look out for a fortress or a dungeon of some sort. This is not a chaos dungeon. This is a dungeon you run after you complete North Curzon quest line. This is where you get your gear pieces. So I know some people, including myself, were confused whether we get gear pieces from Chaos Dungeons, like in Tier 3. Nope. You can run this dungeon three times per day, and you do get one select box per day. So either you can drop five gears and use that last select box for your full set on the first day. But if you are unlucky like me, and you know you don't get as many drops as you should, you will get the bare minimum gear. Basically, the goal is to get as many gear pieces as I can on Wednesday. After running it three times in a row, if I get 1640 without needing the select box, I will save it just in case I get unlucky in the future days. If I need to use the select box for 1640, you bet I am definitely going to be using that box to get to 1640. 1640 is a must. Number three, I am going to be looking at the market and seeing how the engraving prices are. I will use my select engraving chests that I've been saving up on the most expensive engraving. In this case, it's adrenaline at the moment, and I would be surprised if it turns out to be something else. So most likely, adrenaline is what I will be reading. Number four, I will be going to my stronghold and starting combat level training for experience as soon as possible to start building to level 70. This is super important to not delay so you maximize the time spent in training as soon as you can. Make sure you do this as soon as you can. Number five is do Unas for shards. I will be doing an extra three others with my Unas plus one tickets that I have saved up. My other tier four videos cover this, so yippee if you all followed my advice back then. So in total, I will be doing six Unas daily on each of my main characters that I want to push as soon as possible. Alts can do whatever and take their time. I'm not gonna be wasting my Una tickets on them. Number six, I'm going to run the brand new Chaos Dungeon that unlocks at 1640 and the Guardian with rested bonus so hopefully you guys are doing that strat where you stopped doing guardians on monday or so and then you're going to be stopping chaos dungeons on friday as long as you did that you will have full rested bonus by the time wednesday shows up make sure you do the new chaos dungeon because Henuart forest remember is not the chaos dungeon you must run separately these chaos dungeons for accessory drops. After rested is gone for other days, make sure to use the Chaos Dungeon Brews that we all saved up, or at least I hope so, I told you all to save up, for this very moment. It should be running rested Chaos Dungeons for a while. All right, number seven is convert most gems from tier three to tier four. Yes, I said most because any damage skill that does more than 25 to 27 percent of your damage basically a very hard hitting skill in your class you should not convert that goes for barrage artillerist surge death blade 
guillotine on soul eater all this random stuff di shadow hunter all this stuff if you are wondering why make sure to watch my other tier 4 videos for information on that all cooldown gems should be converted though so make sure you all do that okay number 8 is get all the solo mode exchange legion raid akon eyeball trade ins and kyangel shop materials exchange 5 to 1 to start building up tier 4 honing materials. This should be done weekly. Number 9. Get extra combat EXP potions with all the bloodstones you have saved up from the guild shop. The guild vessel at city ports also give combat EXP, so get those too. If you are loaded with Gina's coins, buy the tradable honing materials from the ship as well. This should be done weekly. Wineblue mentions that solo mode exchange also has XP potions, but I'm not sure if that's real. But anyways, you will be going to the solo mode exchange shop from number 8 on the list, so just check to be sure to buy it if it's there. And finally, number 10. The longest to do by far, so it's going to be the last thing I do, is Cube Marathon. All those cube tickets you should have saved up, run them all. I'm going to be watching TV shows while I do this. It's going to be long and annoying, but this will help you get that combat level power boost at 65 and 70. You will notice the difference, I promise. Anyways, that's the first 10 things I'll be doing as servers just come up. Obviously, there are very detailed things you could be doing that I haven't mentioned. These are only the top 10 things that I believe are the most important. Go check out Wine Blue's video for the nitty gritty stuff. It's a very impressive video, so shout outs to him. My video is just a quick, simple 10 things straight to the point that you should be focusing on first when the servers come up. And as the message said, blah, 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 whoa. As the message says, I wish a sincere good luck to everyone for tier four. Let's hope Season 3 Lost Ark is better than the first two. For my pineapple gang, thanks for watching as always. And if you're excited for Tier 4, comment, your videos are really awesome. I learned so much from all your videos. And you have a really sexy voice. Or you can just say Bob. Basically the same thing. Alright everyone, short and sweet like all of you. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Are you all still here? Then you guys are the real pineapple gang. What's up? If you are and you are still in this video, then make sure to instead comment eight minutes because we are stretching this video out to eight minutes for the mid roll ads. What's up, eight minute gang? Woohoo! All right. We probably hit the eight minute mark by now. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.